Back of a big week for the AFL, Tasmania now officially recognised in the state's dominant sporting code. Tasmania belongs in our AFL and AFLW competitions, belongs in the national football conversation and belongs in the national fixture. After decades of campaigning, the 19th AFL team will be in Tasmania, a new controversial 23,000-seat stadium earmarked to cost $715 million kicked off the final leg towards the announcement of the new team. Something that AFL boss Gil McLaughlin says is vital for any new club. It's just great for the state. Former Carlton and Brisbane Lions player Midge Robinson grew up in Tasmania and played for the Tassie Devils in the VFL back in 2008, telling Six News exclusively there were limited pathways for him as a kid in Tasmania. Potentially an AFL team in the competition. It's it's no reason for players who aren't getting noticed down there that can stay put and, and really... Um, you know, give back to the community, give back to the the standard of football down there because as soon as you turn 18, at the moment is, yeah, we'll just go play the, the VFL, you know, SANFL, the Waffle or whatever it may be so you can get noticed. The Tassie team may, however, find difficulty in sourcing its players, particularly those from interstate with some players, including Hawthorne's captain, saying they wouldn't want to live down there. However, this isn't the perspective of all. Definitely, I would have, like, with no disrespect to the Lions and the Blues, I would have left in a heartbeat um, to go play for Tassie. Yeah, and I'll say I absolutely love James Sicily. Um, we've been, I've played against him for a amount of years, and I have a massive respect for him. He was just being honest about his view about living in a in a certain area. Um, I know that you got a lot of passionate people that um, would play for the for the team, but I think it, it comes down to the culture. The new team is also certain to help build the state's struggling economy, with some suggesting it could also become the home of the AFL's gather round after his tenure in Adelaide. With hopes all Tasmanians will get behind not only the new club but also. The AFL. We need Tassie to come together, and I think we've been doing that in the past couple of years with a lot of the um, forums and and the the, the, twi- the tweeters, uh, the tweeters I've been seeing that they've been coming together and signing all those mem- memberships and getting their signatures. And the announcement comes after years of campaigning by Tasmanians for their state to be recognised in the national game. Robinson saying he asked the AFL why there isn't a team there now. We had a, a meeting with Andrew Demetrio, who was a, a, that CEO at the time. Um, I, was, I was at the Blues, and I think it was my second year, and he came to our club, and we had a chat to him, and he said, is there any questions from the group? And I, I put my hand up, and a sheepish young kid who had a bit of ADHD uh, thought I'd ask the question. I said, why isn't there a team in Tasmania? And he gave me something that I remember till this day is a, a simple answer was like, everybody in Tasmania already watches football. So in my head, it, it was as simple, if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Something that the AFL is adamant about is a roof for the new stadium, saying a condition of the new team in Tasmania was that a roof were to be on the venue. However, there are concerned this means certain sports, including certain cricket matches, would not be allowed to play there. Sign binding commitments the Tasmanian government that committed to delivering on those commissions, c- conditions, including partnering with the federal government for the construction a 23,000 seat roofed stadium. It's a goal Tasmanians have had for a long time. Now, by 2028, it will all be reached. The team allowed to enter the AFL competition, then the VFL by 2025. Austin Pollock, Six News.